Hi folks, Eagles beat reporter Mike Kay here for NJ.com. The Eagles enter the offseason with a lot of needs. Defensive tackle, wide receiver, running back, offensive line, linebacker, safety, corner. I mean, they could fill holes at several positions this offseason. That said, I think they'll focus mainly on their three biggest needs, which I believe are defensive tackle, running back, and wide receiver. Now, entering free agency, they shouldn't have a lot of options at defensive tackle, though they could sign a mid-level guy to be part of a rotation, similarly to Haloti Nada last year. I think that makes sense, especially after declining Tim Jernigan's uh, 2019 contract option, which freed up a lot of cap space. I think they'll focus more on the draft for the eventual starter, somebody like Clemson's Christian Wilkinson or Notre Dame's Jerry Tillery. At running back, Josh Jacobs is the bell of the ball in the draft, and then Tevin Coleman's probably that guy in free agency. I think Coleman's market will be a little too high for the Eagles' price range. I think a guy like Mark Ingram would make a lot of sense as the lead back in that rotation next year, opposite Corey Clement and Wendell Smallwood and Josh Adams. If they decide to go the draft route, uh, Jacobs could be a little too pricey of a pick for running back. They haven't drafted a running back higher than the fourth round since 2009 when they drafted LaShawn McCoy. So I, I'd be very surprised if they took a running back in the first round. That said, in Indianapolis at the Combine, they interviewed guys like Devin Singletary, David Montgomery, and Daryl Henderson. All three of those guys have Ds to start their first names, which I think is interesting. But anyway, those guys could be really effective starters in that rotation. And then at wide receiver, they might target somebody like John Brown from the Baltimore Ravens to be a deep threat, but they still need talent around Carson Wentz. It can't just be Alshon Jeffrey and some other guy. Nelson Aguilar's future's kind of up in the air due to his lofty price tag on that fifth-year option, that $9.4 million tag that they could trade to open up cap space and add a pick. I think they'll focus on the draft to add offensive weapons. It just kind of seems like there's a plethora of talent there. I think wide receiver will be handled in the first two days of the draft. They'll get a guy on the outside. They'll get a guy on the inside. I think they could double dip. I think there could be some serious investment in the wide receiver position during the draft. For all of our Eagles coverage, especially draft coverage, turn to the sports section of NJ.com. We'll see you soon.